Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Opton, where today we are doing some seeding in our class Arian with the Vader Stad Rapide A600S on the back. It's a different model to what was in 15 I've just noticed. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, the Rainbow Cave tractor is over the other side of the map at the moment. It's not going to be used for a little bit, I don't think. Um, but I think it's time to... I wanted to change from wheat. Oh, well, we're seeding wheat in this field. <laughs> Didn't actually mean to seed wheat here. But we're seeding it now, so we're kind of locked into this decision. I meant to so seed like soybeans or something, but nah. Me being me, I did something stupid. Mm. So today is what? When? Thursday. Uh, I will have streamed, I think, yesterday. I haven't decided. Today's Tuesday for me. Um, haven't 100% decided what my stream schedule is for this week yet. So I either streamed yesterday or I will be streaming today. I think I streamed yesterday. It's kind of the feeling I'm getting right now is that I'll have done a Wednesday, Friday on this channel and Thursday on the other one because last week I was just in a really good mood all week so I figured eh, might as well do three, well, all days on this channel. I want to get the other channel moving again though so um, <clears throat> I'm going to alternate again, going to go back into the alternation although I might just have Thursday streams on the other channel. Um, just have that as a kind of a weekly thing. Because I've got two fantastic maps at the moment. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with farm sim. But, annoyingly, we do have to do the boring stuff like seeding and cultivating and plowing. And I know it's boring. And I know, well, I find it boring at least. I know some of you guys will find this incredibly interesting. Uh, like a thousand people that watched me faffing about with bales on Monday. That I still can't believe actually happened. <laughs> Um, but yeah, <sighs> fun times. So the plan here is we're going to seed this up. I've just, I realized literally today that I have forced plowing turned off. So the, the, um, John Deere plow that's on the back of the 7R, once the 7 is finished with that field, I can actually sell the plow. We can do cultivating instead. Uh, I know this is a direct seed seeder, but in reality, you'd want to cultivate too. Um, just to make sure that everything is kind of ripped up nicely and ready to go. Can't start doing skip seeding because the seeder is a bit big to be trying to not skip seed. And the classes may be a bit small as well for the, the seeder, but oh well. We'll make do. We'll make do. We'll be fine. We'll survive. We'll be like, well, what's her name? Tina Turner? I will survive. Uh, <laughs> what? What am I talking about anymore? So, whatever the hell it is I stream, I don't know. You guys will have noticed, or will notice, I guess, if I didn't stream yesterday and I'm streaming today instead, that I have a new button available in the streams. Now it's not available in the videos, it's only available in the streams. And it is the sponsor button. And I'm sure I've got lots of questions about this in the stream, what's the sponsor button about, how do you sponsor and all that. I'm gonna explain it here real quick. So the sponsor button on YouTube Gaming, on YouTube, is if you think about the way that uh, subscriptions work on Twitch, where it's a monthly recurring payment, um, and you get like a little icon in chat and stuff, that's what sponsoring is. That's what sponsorship is. So you just, it works the same way as Super Chat, basically, where it's a, you're basically saying you're going to have a one, you know, every month you're going to donate X amount of money to me, or to whoever, because Landy Kid has uh, the sponsor button as well, and I uh, have been watching a stream because it's 20 to 8 and I don't know when I'm getting food so this might be a very short video indeed 
Um, but basically, it's you know you give X amount to the YouTuber every month, um, and that X amount is decided by YouTube, annoyingly. So in euros, it's three euro ninety nine a month. In ster pound sterling, it's three pounds forty nine a month. It's four dollars US ninety nine per month. Sorry, three dollars US ninety nine per month. Um, and it just is basically a monthly donation, and you know it. It. it Covers uh, blah, blah, very little. <laughs> it's just, it's just kind of um, gives you a, a shiny little badge in chat that I've got set up. I'm gonna have to set up a notification for it through Streamlabs uh, before I stream. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. That'll be something I'll probably do tonight, assuming I'm running ahead, which I kind of am. I should really have recorded a lot earlier than I did, but I had a headache all day and been trying to deal with that. So I'm only now getting around to recording, and dinner's going to be soon. Uh, so this is going to be a fun day for me. Uh, now, obviously, you'll be wondering, what about Wednesday's video day? If you're recording on Tuesday, what about Wednesday, yesterday's video? Well, I had that recorded yesterday, which was Monday. Uh, tomorrow's video, I don't know when I'll record that. Hopefully, I'll record that Wednesday, which is tomorrow for me. Um, the reason that my video recording is out so everywhere at the moment is just because I've been, I guess, not feeling great, like, physically. Because I've just been having headaches and tiredness and all this kind of stuff, and it's been detracting from me. Um, I don't know, don't know particularly why I've got them, and it's annoying. But... They'll sort themselves out in a week or two, hope, or in a few days, hopefully. That'll be good. We've got Landy Kid's stream chat going, so I'm kind of looking over at that and uh, watching him, watching his struggles via chat. It's kind of funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of a, a, a Dave update, Dave life update. Got back into uh, Elite Dangerous as well, so the uh, entire wheel setup comes off my desk at night now. So sometimes, sometimes you will have streams where I've, I've literally just said I can't be bothered changing my setups. So here, look, I'm gonna do keyboard and mouse because there's literally nothing on my desk right now. Uh. And I just spotted Oxygen David talking about why West Coast is failing so much. And it's models that are used where people delete specs normal, etc. Or add shaders and stuff. So they... Ah. It's, it's models they use from not them, effectively. It's causing the West Coast failures and so many struggles with um, giants getting stuff on the console. Uh, which I'm going to go into real quick again just because I can. I've got a soapbox, I'm going to use it. Giants made promises they can't keep with FS17. They promised mods on console, and they didn't give modders the tools to bring out mods on console. Like, uh, Bullet Bill's been playing map tennis, as I like, to, I like to call it, with Giants, where he does something to the map, and they send it back to him and say, no, it's failed because of this. They don't tell them how to fix it, they just say, it's failed on this this item. So he tries to fix that and sends it back to them. He said, they say, no, it's failed again on the same item. He goes over and back because giants just don't have the support for modders that they should. Um, and it's a real shame. It is a real shame that giants just made promises they can't keep. And that's why West Coast has been failing testing so much. Is giants... <laughs> In true Giants form, going back to, going actually back in time to FS13 and FS15, where Giants just didn't give out the information ever. Um, they're doing it again with mods for console, and annoying, even more annoyingly, not telling the mod, you know, the, the console players that they're doing this, 
or that they've done this. Now, I've heard that the tools that should have been available for FS15 or FS17 are coming for FS19, which in my mind is two years too late. Um, Giants dropped the ball for console players. If you are a console player, I genuinely feel sorry for you. Especially if you're in the vocal ma or the silent majority that never causes any problems with modders and you know never makes any claims of oh you're just being lazy and oh you don't like console and all that. The thing is, is that it's near impossible to get stuff onto console. Between the Sony and Microsoft restrictions on scripts and the fact that giants just don't have the tools available to modders, it's very difficult to even just get stuff onto console in the first place. Which sucks. Absolutely sucks. And it sucks for the silent minority. Or the silent majority, even. For the vocal minority, the guys that, you know, attack modders, and I've heard even sent death threats. I'm, if you're in the silent majority, you can stop listening here. For the vocal minority, couldn't be happier, they deserve it. Because they don't deserve any nice things. If you're, if you're going to send death threats to people because, oh, you didn't get a mod because you play on PS4, you don't deserve anything nice. You barely even... You don't even deserve a PS4 in my eyes. You know, it... It... it it's not... That's not on. And if I were to hear of anybody who subscribed to me doing it, I would they would be banned from the streams immediately. Because people who do that are toxic, and I don't want them around here. I've said before, I don't particularly care how many subscribers I have. What I care about is you guys are a community. And you guys are willing to support me through thick and thin. If I need to take a break, you guys will say, okay, take as long as you need, Dave. We'll be here when you get back. That's awesome. Some people on YouTube don't have that. Um, especially the guys who are just like, I need all of the subscribers. I don't care. I want you guys to have fun and enjoy the videos. And, uh, you know, support each other as well as myself. Because I look in Discord, I see people asking questions and having them answered by not, you know, whoever knows an answer might not be the right answer, but it, it's an answer that maybe I couldn't give. Or an answer that maybe I can correct later on down the line, but it's an immediate answer. It's, it's a lot better than everybody having to wait for me to come back and say, Okay, well, I've, I've looked it up, and this is exactly what happens. No. So I've got a Discord, that's why I've got all this stuff for you guys, all the nice things. Why I'm doing my damnedest to not get rid of them. Because I know you guys are an awesome community and I, what's more, you guys definitely deserve the nice things. You deserve shiny things. Because, well, being blunt, you're better the community than what 90% of what I see on Facebook and YouTube and all of that kind of stuff. You willing to help each other and yeah, there's jokes. There's a lot of jokes, a lot of teasing, a lot of jokes. Everybody who makes them knows the limits, and if they tip over the uh, the limits and go over what is really acceptable, they'll be told pretty pretty immediately by everybody else, including the mods. Um, so yeah, that's. How I feel about the community, I guess. I don't know why I went into that, but... I was the bad thing, yeah. But I don't get why... I really don't get why certain people on consoles... And I don't know names. I'm not naming names because I don't know them. I don't care to know them. But wh why are you sending death threats about a game? Is your life that dull? Like, do... Is... is do you have that few friends that the game is absolutely everything to you and if you don't get something shiny immediately then you're gonna throw a hissy fit and start throwing your toys out of the pram? 
Is that what's going on? Because that that's stupid. And if you attack modders because oh it's not coming to console, you're stupid. Being bl being honest, that's there's no need for it. There's no point to it. All you're doing is reinforcing the opinions of some modders and YouTubers that, hey, maybe the console community just isn't worth bothering with. Because all we ever hear from them is complaints and anger and crying and people throwing their toys out the pram. Yeah, that's why lately you've been seeing fewer and fewer and fewer mods coming onto console. Is it's the vocal minority is ruining it for everybody. Heck, that's why console, for the most part, I will let some comments through if they're genuine questions. Uh, which is why occasionally I'll let things slide in streams. If they're genuine questions that are from... that aren't just whinging. Um, or, you know, just the word console, as I've seen before. Somebody... I think was asking if West Coast was on console on one of the videos on the West Coast. They just left the word console in a question mark. That, yeah. I get th those go into a review bin for me. That one got binned completely. I have a very low tolerance for nonsense. I always have. As much as I cause, I've got a very low tolerance for certain kinds of it. You know, as much as I like to cause trouble and, and, and create mayhem, Got a very low tolerance for people doing it for the sake of doing it and stepping over the line. So if people want to step over the line, that's fine. Absolutely fine by me. They'll get thrown back over that line. I'm told to not come back. <laughs> You know, I've got plenty of moderators, plenty of people who will be more than happy to show you the door if you want to step over the line and start abusing me or whatever. It's abusing modders in my streams or anywhere that I have any sort of control over. Um, so, even on my Facebook, you get banned from the Facebook page. And I've done that to several people before for abusing me, sending me abusive messages and stuff. I... Low tolerance. I don't bother. I don't bother, you know, dealing with idiots like that. I'll just save myself future problems and get rid of them. <laughs> you guys know that I have a habit of speaking the truth. I always kind of, well, I didn't always have the, the habit of speaking the truth. But of late, so for the past year or so since I've stopped, because I used to be a bit neurotic, kind of a bit, oh my god, I need all the subscribers ever, before, and yeah, I really spoke the truth. Now I'm just kind of like, meh. You guys know that I, I tend to not wash things down or water things down. The console community, by and large, is good. By and large, the console community is silent. But it's the guys that aren't that tend to be the problem. I'm going to call somebody out here. NHF, New Holland Farming, whatever you want to go by today, you're not one of the problems. And you know it, because I've said it to you. And, uh... People need to be more like NHF, where they'll silently play on console and be like, oh, I kind of wish this was on console, but I can understand why it's not. You know, it'd be nice if, if Sony and Microsoft would be actually respectful to their own players and their own customers, but hey, why should they do that when they've got all of the money? And the same could almost be said about Giants. <laughs> so Giants, I know, is a smaller, a much smaller company, but not helping the modders fulfill a promise that you made, that's low, Giants, that's really low. Also, hello to the person who's deciding Giants Blacklist. Because I know I'm on it. 
I know I'll never be a Giants media partner because I like calling them out too much. They don't like... Giant, companies don't like people who say, this is bad and they should stop. Giants is not at one of those. And if I get media partner for Giants, I'll be genuinely shocked. Like, if I ever get it. But, uh, as you guys have seen over the last few months, I'm more than willing to defend Giants when I think they need defending. When Giants are in the right and somebody else is in the wrong, or when anybody's in the wrong, I'll point, you know, I'll say, no, 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 you're wrong. I'm more than willing to, you know, defend Giants when somebody attacks them when it's not justified. But, um... Definitely on the mods for consoles front, it is justified, because Giants could have made a tool. They could have said, okay, no mods for console for FS17, because we don't have any tools for the modders to, to make it easy for them. So, what, you know, I, I think everybody would have been happy then. The, mo the console guys might not have been as happy, because, you know, no shiny things, but they would at least have had a reason why. And it would have been seen, potentially, as, hey, well... Do you know what? It's fine because you know giants are working on getting us even more mods for FS19 because they're they're working on the tools and there's genuinely a part of me that thinks giants should possibly have just dropped mod support on consoles and FS19. <laughs> as silly as that sounds, and as much hate as I'm gonna probably get from the console community over this. All the, the mods on consoles really did in FS17 so far is annoy YouTubers because there's a reason consoles in the blacklist and all the console names are as well. It annoyed us because we've had to deal with a million and one questions of is this coming to console, 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 is this coming to console. Um, It annoyed modders because they had to deal with the same questions. And personal attacks. You know, that's way beyond it. Way beyond the pale. And... You know, it's probably annoyed giants too because they've got a few... They've got to answer the same questions, but hey, why would they bother interacting with the community? I know they've got a Discord and, like, three people from giants, mainly their community managers, sp speak on there, but... They've never addressed the mods on console thing. They've, like, Giants should have made a statement saying it's not the fault of modders. But they never did. They never came to the defense of the people that are kind of sort of making the game be still alive at this point. Like, being honest, YouTubers don't do anything for a game. Especially on Farm Sim. You know, we promote the maps and whatnot. But it's the maps and mods and, and stuff like that that keep the game alive. If there were no mods for FS17, it would have died within probably a month. And, uh, I get the feeling the pure farming developers will find that out very quickly. If they release with no mods. Because that game will die almost instantly if there's no mods. They're trying to take on farm sim without mods. That's stupid. It's a recipe for failure. You try and take on the best in in the business, and farm sim is the best in the farm sim, you know, farming simulator business. Um, you're gonna have to have at least the same features they do, and pure farming are refusing to speak about modding, which I feel in 2017 is near essential for most games, especially simulators, so that unlicensed stuff can be added in by the community. Uh, they're not, they won't even talk about multiplayer, which every game has multiplayer now. If you're releasing a game without multiplayer, especially a simulator, the only people who can get away with doing that is SCS, because, you know, you got Trucker MP, you've got, I don't know if it's a thing, but ETS 2 MP, you've got the community-driven multiplayer servers. And SCS have publicly endorsed those. I don't think the pure farming guys will learn quickly enough what they need to learn three weeks ago, or three months ago, or even a couple of years ago, 
about the farm sim space and the community that is there. You know, there's a... I don't know... One thing that's confused me is there's a lot of farm sim games coming out. You got Pure Farming, which looks okay, I guess. But it, the devs are refusing to talk about basic features, which is a major red flag to me. You got Cattle and Crops, which looks really good. The devs have been very as open as they can be, you know, they're trying to they're a bit busy working on the actual game, you know, that's that's kind of acceptable for them to be a bit quiet on the, the public news front. And the updates front. Um You got that real was it real farming? Um that I'm bound to get asked a million and one questions about. That doesn't look good at all. That looks terrible. It looks like Agrisim and that's Kind of a byword for the worst game you could imagine in this space. You know, there's not many good farming simulators, and as much as I rip on giants, as much as I will criticize them in the future and do now and have in the past, they're the best at what they do right now. There's nobody that can touch them. Cattle and Crops is the only real threat, because Cattle and Crops is made by modders who are frustrated at giants, might I add. Uh, so I can get behind even their standpoint on why they created the game. But do I think Giants needs to go away and, you know, stop making the games? No, I think Giants needs to keep, you know, to continue making them. Because there's nobody any, there's nobody good enough yet to, for me to say, well, you know, Giants aren't making the best games anymore. Why are they even bothering? Giants are still making the best. So why would I say, you know, Java Giants need to go away because they keep making the same mistakes over and over? No, I'll say Giants need to learn from their mistakes, which they continually fail to do. But, you know, I'm willing to, to bet that they're starting to learn. I'm more than willing to bet they're starting to learn from the mistakes they've made in the past, the mistakes they've made kind of ongoing making now with the whole mods for consoles thing. And they're going to make mistakes in the future. They're only humans. You know, I, I... Yes, it's a company, and yes, the company should have people there who are telling them that's a stupid idea. They seemingly don't, but meh. Not my problem. My problem is, do I have a game that I can play on YouTube? Yeah, I do. Well, thank you, Giants, for making a great game with a great modding community and a... A great basis for um, making whatever you like. Giants Editor even is very good. The only criticism I have of them is they're screwing over the console community by not, you know, bringing out the tools that are needed for the console mod market. It, it, can I call it a marketplace? The console environment, we'll say. You know, that's the, the big criticism I have of them. The I'll use their words to defend them, I'll use their words against them, I'll use their words however I see fit, but at the end of the day, Giants are making a great game with great mods and a great, for the most part, a great community. You know, you'll always have toxic elements. This map is a bit wonky, it, it seems. Either that or it could, it could actually be the class is wonky here. I'm gonna blame the class, because <laughs> that shouldn't be happening. In any case, I've kind of nattered and ranted and talked on long enough. Um, I um, I'm almost sure it's the class now. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it's the class that's causing the problems here. I'm going to leave it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll leave you by saying I've been Rainbow Dave. You've been watching Farming Simulator 17 on Upton. Hope you're happy, Lancy. I've started naming the map correctly. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. I'm not attacking Lancy. He knows that I make jokes. And uh, he knows that I'm very rarely serious when I'm... Like put on my angry voice. 
Uh, that was definitely a joke. But, uh, I've been Raymond Dave, you've been watching Farming Simulator 17 on Upton by Lancy Boy. Coming hopefully soon to a PC near you, uh, for sure. And potentially even consoles if giants will allow it. Although, after, the lit after this episode, you might now know why I don't particularly think anything should be ex um, expected on consoles ever. So I've always said, expect nothing on console. Until next time, stay safe, and goodbye.